What's up guys? Going to be talking about HUDs today and kind of just showing you guys how to set up your first HUD. Before I get into what kind of stats to use, I'm going to go through some of the key mistakes that people make when they're using their HUD. So I personally use Holder Manager 2. I think you can also use po Poker Tracker and they both kind of do the same thing but just in different ways. Like ultimately they're both still database software and they keep track of information. And how you use that information can make a huge difference in terms of your win rate. So some of the key mistakes that occur when you're starting out and you finally decide to take poker seriously and get a HUD is basically you just get overwhelmed and you don't know what kind of stats to look at you don't know if you have enough of a sample to really rely on the stat so you end up just like using it and then look you only have 25 hands and you couldn't actually do much with that information and then you over adjusted because of that information in terms of how you were playing your hand and you end up making mistakes or you end up relying way too much on your HUD and you just no longer have like a good default strategy that wins and that is some of the issues that you have when you start out and that's why I think when you actually do start playing you probably don't want to use a HUD you can use the tracking software but if you're playing without a HUD when you start out you'll probably improve pretty quickly in terms of developing a strong solid default strategy and then once you have that down you can really start to make more adjustments. So let's get into the HUD. Um, I guess I could type this out here as well maybe I should have done that before the video but I'll just leave it like this. Okay so HUD basically looks like this with the different lines corresponding to some of the different stats here. So most importantly you start with the number of hands and their name. Uh, here I'm playing anonymous poker on ignition so basically they just all have these really random ass names. But Still same thing kind of applies. Okay so you want to include your VPIP, your PFR which are really basic stats to use. Um, basically with VPIP and PFR you can actually create a range of stats to basically change based on the color so, and I think some of them have it as a default. Um, just put total VPIP here, total PFR here and then there's a color range so if it's low it's red for me. If starts going higher it turns green which indicates they're more likely to be a fun player. Next you have the photo to steal stats and photo to steal basically is how often someone folds in the blinds versus an open raise. So the main stats you want to use here are the specific positional ones such as the button versus steal, for big blind fold to button steal and fold to small blind steal because those are where you can really make the most adjustments in terms of your opening range. Uh, you need, you definitely need a few samples of this to get a good idea of how someone's playing so you probably need at least 10 occurrences of their photo steal for it to start to converge properly which could take a few hundred hands. And next we have RFI and steal so these are just positional steel stats, so how wide people are opening from each position. These again will take a while to start to actually look accurate. But once you get a sample you kind of know what someone's doing and you can start exploiting them. If they're opening too wide or if they're free betting too wide or folding to free bet too much, that kind of exploit. Usually you kind of just start with the VPIP PFR and then you make judgments on your play or profiling really really quickly based off that and then start to adjust your assessment if you see that stats starting to change. 
usually if you're playing against really weak players you'll very quickly know that they're a weak player for example this guy here you can see his vpip and pfr gap is massive even over this 25 hand sample so he's vpipping he's playing basically 72 percent of the hands he has out of this 25 hand sample here so what that means is you want to a sign that this guy is likely too wide to begin with already even though you don't have too many hands it's already enough of a sample to start making some judgments about this player with this guy here it's less of the case he's playing 4130 which is whoops which is still on the higher side but you can see he's definitely tighter um, this guy has probably more passivity leaks in that you can see there's this gap here so he's playing 30 13 and I also would probably I guess I didn't include it in this current HUD setup but I would usually think that adding a limp stat put it somewhere like here would help you identify fish correctly as well okay so we have applied the HUD and we now have a limp stat as well so you can see that these guys are also limping preflop a bunch instead of opening raising and that even further helps you identify more that they're likely to be recreational so definitely include the limp stat there actually forgot to include that while making this HUD but I have it on the other ones um, next line you want to look at is the post swap stats. So this is like right here. Very very obviously, you want to know how often people are c betting and how often they're folding to a c bet. So you want to know how they're playing on both flop turn and river. So just check the numbers, and if they're too high or too low, then you know that you can probably exploit them somewhere. Uh, river obviously takes much longer to converge so you'll need a lot of hands to actually use that reliably but definitely if you're including an initial HUD just use the flop and turn stats finally we have the three bet stats and a four bet stat here which is looking at how aggressive people are pre-flop Generally, these also take like a hundred hands to start converging correctly. Usually, a lot more to get an accurate assessment of how people are playing, and even more if you're looking at positional free bet. So, definitely, when starting out, just don't worry about all the crazy positional free bet stuff. But if you're playing against someone really really often you may actually want to start doing database analysis on them and just looking through how they're playing so you can look at like if you have a really large sample just get your hot out and then basically click on the start make a pop-up or something and then just analyze how they're playing on every street analyze how they're playing in terms of the free bet ranges and how they're playing in terms of check raise but basically if you had a HUD right now and you wanted to keep it even simpler here is what I would do so this is basically the most basic HUD that I would use okay so getting rid of all of these stats here we could actually add some back but basically first line here Second line is VPIP PFR. Add the limp in and then add the free bet. So we want to look at total free bet and then verse free bet. And so add the fold to free bet here. So you have basically the most simple pre flop stats ever, which should look like this. And that is the most basic form of HUD that you will use and something you can use if you're just really really new to it once you have like the preflot stats down 
let's start adding the purse swap. So just go to continuation bat, add C bat here, and add fold to C bat, and you're good to go. Those are actually some of the really bare minimum stats. So if you're actually like really really new to the HUD, you would actually just use these and maybe include fold to steel as well. And then you have a really easy to use starting HUD. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Went through a lot of the basics. I do have an advanced HUD for myself, which uh, has flashed a few times throughout the video while resetting. So I'll just really quickly show you guys this HUD. So we have some additional stats, which are basically just how people play once certain actions occur. So XFF here means check fold on the flop. MCB is missed C bet. BVM is bet versus miss. And then this is the donk bet stat, which is another good indicator of how likely as someone is to be a fish. And also we have the CR stat, which is basically check raising. And yeah, this is the HUD I personally use, but definitely a bit more information in there that's not entirely necessary. But overall, yeah, this is what works for me. Uh, if you're interested in actually like really intense database analysis stuff, then definitely hit me up for coaching. I can basically just analyze literally like every leak that someone has. And I do that all the time with some of the opponents I'm playing against in really big detail. And I think that's usually pretty helpful for improving your game, but there's of course like other ways to do that. But I do think getting someone who knows what they're doing to analyze your database and break out your leaks, break down your leaks is really, really huge because a lot of the time people just don't know where they're actually making mistakes unless they show someone and they're like, oh, you're sea betting not enough on this kind of board texture, for example. And that requires somewhat in-depth analysis. Anyway, hope you guys found that useful. I'll be making another video, I'm not sure what the topic will be, but definitely subscribe and stay tuned for it.